What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel here with another trade today. It was a green trade. All of my trades today were in the green, but there's a big issue, big problem. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time actually talking about my trades in general. I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about my, uh, the strategy and my logic behind my strategies, guys. So let's get right down to it. Big gap up this morning on SPY. The markets, the markets did uh, did very, very well. Uh, just keeps going up. Where it stops, nobody knows. But either way, I did get a buy signal here on the very first hour of the day, and I was terrified. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was extremely, extremely terrified because it did gap up uh, quite a bit. Off to the left, as always. We have the intraday uh, chart on the options that I uh, traded today, the one in the middle, the hourly chart on SPY, and the one on the far right is the daily chart of SPY. I trade the hourly charts based off the daily charts. It's that simple. Depending on what the uh, direction is of the daily chart, that's the direction that I trade in the one hour chart. I bought in, I because of the gap, because of the big gap, I went a little bit deeper in the money uh, than usual, and then I went eight eight days out, and so I purchased the 327 calls that expired eight days, but I only bought one. I only bought one. Here is why: because of that gap up. I bought it at 365, and then not even five minutes later, I went ahead and sold, mainly just out of fear, out of extreme fear. I sold. At 367 for you know basically even after uh, after commissions and then after I sold uh, the that call on spy and then I went on about my day at my day job and then I suddenly realized hey I can look at the cues uh, let's see how the cues are doing and this is what I saw I saw that I got a buy signal at the exact same candlestick as spy but there wasn't a ginormous gap up and it had already dipped back down and now it's on its way up. And so that is the rest of the uh, trades here. I bought two call options, the two 20, 50 calls on queues on the queues, QQQ bought them at $2. And this is where I screw up guys. If you have been uh, watching my last several trades, you will notice that I will sell half. I, I will sell set a limit order at uh, ten percent gain, and then the rest I let it fly. Um, well, not so much today. I don't know why I was extremely nervous, just because of all of the looming, you know, end of the world people. Okay, maybe not end of the world people, but all the people that are saying, "Hey, it's got to come back down, crashing back down, needs a healthy pullback." I believe that it does. I believe that it needs a healthy pullback, but it's still running, guys. So anyways, I got extremely, extremely nervous still. Not the best time to trade, guys. I will say that. Bought two at $2. It got up to $2.15 very quickly, and I decided to sell one. And the other one, I swore, I swore it on everything that I was going to let this one ride, and I was gonna just sell at an even two dollars. Who cares? I got scared, and I ended up selling at two twenty-five. So I averaged a ten percent gain off of my entire uh, position. Exactly ten percent, in fact. And I was like, "Hey, that's fine. I live to see another day. That is absolutely fine." Well, look what ended up happening uh, towards the end of the day. Ginormous rally. It actually closed at the exact high. And as you can see by this intraday one minute chart on the queues um, options that I traded today, I bought at two and they closed well in the after hours to 68. It is extremely frustrating guys to let my emotions get to me. I still got to work on that. It is been so difficult. How many times have I been talking about this? The, uh, the, the, the hardest aspect of day trading, of trading in general, investing, is setting your emotions aside. I thought that I was smarter than the markets and well, look what happened. And then also the other really frustrating part is whenever I decide to 
actually hold a position overnight the markets don't cooperate uh they 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 don't gap up in the direct or they don't gap in the direction that i'm actually trading it and it actually goes flat or goes the opposite direction and then whenever i decide to not hold a position overnight it gaps up or gaps up in that direction and i can make a lot more money so that's really frustrating but i'm gonna work on it this is not the best way to build wealth um, not only just day trading in general, but the way that I'm trading only making 10% each, uh, trade. That's not the way to actually build wealth. You have to let some ride for higher gains. Uh, this is what the strategy was designed for in my eyes, in my opinion anyways, but you got to let some ride scale out of your trades. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still only trading. Um, a couple of contracts per position and maybe it's time that I start doing three um, I, I do have room to to add three or four possibly four contracts um, but let's see let's see what happens in the near future right now it's working fabulously because the, the markets are actually cooperating they are trending it, they go up and then they they go sideways to consolidate and then they go up again there's a clear distinct pattern going on over the past couple of weeks several weeks and so i hope it continues on but i just wanted to show you guys today's trades um i just it, it's been so frustrating because I, I am at work and i have to hide i have to hide the fact that i'm trading and it's 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 hard it's really 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 hard i end up calling my best friend over the phone and letting him know my trades uh, just to get some emotion, uh, that excitement out of my system, guys. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, tell me what you thought about today's trade, about this video. Let me know what you traded, what you made money on, what you lost money on, guys. I can't wait to move forward with this strategy. I think I got something tremendous here. Uh, something pretty fabulous, pretty cool that I can actually um, build wealth on. Granite. As long as I follow my day trading rules, my strategy, my plan, I think everything's going to be good, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. See you here on the very next day trade. Hope it's a good one. Hope it's a green one, guys. Talk to you guys later.